going on around you. Here's a stat. I'm just seeing this. Garrett Thomas's time up out the west. I mean, these people really, really geek out about. I mean, it's essentially a time trial, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's and even outside of Strava, there's every year they really are are are, are focused on what is the time up out the west. Mm -hmm. This this actually really blows me away. Garrett Thomas's time was 41:15. The record, Marco Pantani. Um, I won't tell you who else went just about the same time at some <laughs> point in his life. That's four minutes and 35 seconds slower than the record. Wow. And not even fast enough to enter the top 100 fastest times on Alpha West. That's... Wow. Demelon did say there was a big headwind, but that wouldn't account for four minutes. No. Well, what well, would account for cat, four minutes? The cat, the the cat, cat and mouse, mouse would not. No, that's a they, minute That's a minute right there. They sat what? up watching each other. A minute? Yeah, they dude, were still they, moving. They didn't stop. They were... Nibbly was... A minute behind, and then he got within 50 meters of the group. So, yeah, a they lost about behind? a minute. We'll ask Johan what he thinks. Uh, when Nibali almost comes back and Landa comes back, that's obviously a how, sign that... How much you know, time do you didn't... think they lost doing that, Johan? Sitting four abreast, basically chatting. Well, I don't think they were chatting, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Looking at each other, maybe not chatting. Mind <laughs> talking. Fact... The fact that a guy, a guy like Lamba, who was dropped pretty, pretty quickly, comes back not once, twice, but three times. Thank you, Johan. I'm just trying to prove a point to that. Well, he didn't hear. He must not have heard me. <laughs> he had. To, he could. He, he, he definitely didn't hear me. There's no way. So happy. You know, one thing that on we that. didn't. Um, <clears throat> Johan alluded to it that it was a very tough day, and so when you start to look at these times, like Pantani's time, keep in mind that stage, when Pantani set the record. So that one, stage started in Grenoble. One climb. So, so yeah. all they did was come up the valley. Uh, granted, it's it's not flat, but it's you know it's yeah. it's not a climb. So they rolled up the valley. He started Albuquerque with an entire team, so they had people. I mean, it was like a sprint lead out when he started mm -hmm. uh, Albuquerque. Um, hence the record. And, and when I did it, and just about the same time, a few seconds off, it was a time trial. So all I did was one climb. Yeah. These boys did five thousand meters today, fifteen thousand vertical feet. Yeah, it was a brutal day. Just All right, so we have Lance's opinion on Garrett Thomas's time. He said it was pretty poor, not very fast, uh, and he was wondering why, uh, which is probably due to EPO, etc., that was used back in the day. But anyway, we have Roman Bardet's Strava file, uh, which gives us a time of 41 minutes 23, which is pretty much identical to the time uh, that was given for Garrett Thomas, which is 41.15, and they finished pretty much at the same group. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. But anyway, you can see here, 41 minutes 23, an average speed of 20.2 kilometers an hour, up 8% gradient. So, I mean, to be honest, like the pros definitely can go faster than that. And I think what Lance and the other people were alluding to, that it was a very tough t stage, is true. Because you think 36 minutes, 37 minutes, that would give an average speed of like 23, 24k an hour. And that's, uh, that's probably more realistic for an 8% gradient for these guys if they're going absolute full gas. So you could definitely see that it's not like it is crazy fast, but it's not like insane, like off the Richter scale charts. You can see Thibaut Pino, uh, when he won the stage, he did it in 42 minutes 09, but then he was in a breakaway all day. So 30 seconds is like, you can see it's not. 30 seconds quicker and Pino was in the breakaway, maybe it was a slightly easier stage, but even so. Uh, and then we have my old mate Peter Pooley, um, who did it, this is solo, 42.15. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pretty good to see that the times on Strava do more or less correlate with the times that people seem to record. And it's also pretty insane um, to think that Pantani went up and like, what was that, 36 something? Uh, and then the 100 top riders, like Garrett Thomas is 109th, I think, um, overall of all the pro riders who go up there, which is, I guess is like, it's not crazy. Like, it's not, I mean, it's not weird to think that because to, that stage was such a hard stage. Um, but anyway, what do you think? Do you think... Uh, cycling is now cleaner because the times are slow or do you think it's just the racing is harder um, like the sprint stages are harder now than they used to be like I don't know it's interesting anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy um, little Lance coming out with some, his good stuff I do enjoy this podcast by Lance um, I'll leave a link to it below um, very enjoyable uh, but anyway yeah I'll see you in the next video